are very difficult to get it right by accident, something that you really do need to think about. Okay. Um, I'm going to get you to give that a little mix up for me, if you will, just make sure that all the bits slide around. Um, and while you're doing that, Matt, yeah. I'm just going to write a, a little prediction on this card. Okay. okay? Um, we're going to come back to this slightly later on. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to watch you as you do it. This is going to help me form my prediction. Okay, yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. And I'm going to leave this down just underneath the pen. Now, when you're happy that it's all mixed up uh, and you're happy that, you know, there's nothing sort of like funny or untoward, you can run your finger along the numbers. You can see that there's no way that you can, there's no kind of like braille or anything sticky no. on them. No way you can know. Okay. Now, the idea is, Matt, I'm going to turn this upside down in a second. Okay, when I turn it upside down, I'm going to start to move it around as well. I'm going to start to move some of the numbers. Okay, now while I'm doing this, what I want you to do as well, to ensure that there's no way that anything can be seen on the back, I want you to hold your hand over the top. I'm going to move it around and we're going to move some more here. Um, through this way, four that way. Six, two, okay. One more. And I think that's done. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take the number 16. I'm gonna put this back in the corner so that things don't move around, nothing gets stuck. You can take your hand away. And we should see, oh, I got that in slightly the wrong way. Um, okay. You look slightly bemused, yeah. a little bit confused. Okay, that's understandable. Um, because I guess you may be expecting me to solve it upside down. Yeah. I'm not that good, Matt. I'm not no. that good. Um, but instead, what we did at the very, very start um, was we wrote a little number down here, this little prediction, okay? The number that I wrote was the number 34. Shut up. It may confuse you slightly more. Okay, so you seem to be grabbing onto it. Okay, so you can see you got the number 34. Matt, if you take number 11 and you add it to 14, you add it to four, you add it to five, that equals 34 just yeah. along the top, okay? If we take the next row down, you get eight to one is nine, plus 15 is 24, plus 10 is 34. <laughs> 13 to 12 is 25, plus six plus nine also equals 34. Two to seven to nine to 16 also equals 34. <laughs> now it'd be impressive if I was able to match them all going vertically, but what about horizontally as well? If we go down, we go 11 to eight to 35 also equals 34. The diagonals 5, 15, 12, 34, 11, 1, 16, 19, 34. All of the numbers that we added up get to the That's the magic of the one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>